Have you wondered how tube amps really work? What happens to the guitar signal when it goes to a tube amplifier? Are you considering buying one? What is that tube tone that they all keep talking about? Let's find out. Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new episode of Fred Gaga. My name is Rizzi and today I'm going to talk about guitar amplifiers. Now before we start, let me just tell you what this video is not about. This is not a technical video trying to explain you all the electronics behind a tube amplifier. I would just try to give you a very basic idea about what happens inside an amp or rather what are the stages that your signal goes through so that next time when you're dialing that tone on your amp, you are more aware of what's going on and you can make better tones out of your amp. So let's get started. So what are amplifiers really? An amplifier is a device or an electronic device which amplifies a signal. So it makes it more powerful. So consider your guitar signal. It is actually very weak and it cannot drive a speaker or it cannot be played through a speaker. Before that, it needs to be amplified. Now, what happens is an amplifier takes your guitar signal as an input and makes it more powerful so that it can be played on a speaker. Now there are basically three types of amplifiers. Uh, the first one would be a tube amplifier, there's another one called a uh, solid state amplifier, the, those are made up of transistors and there's a third one which is a hybrid amplifier which is made up of both. Now the tube amplifiers are made up of vacuum tubes or uh, valves as they call it. Now, for this video, I will stick to tube amplifiers and I might make another video about solid state amplifiers in the future, but uh, right now we are more interested in how a tube amp really works. So tube amps basically have two main stages where your signal gets amplified. Firstly, it's the preamp section and another one is the power amp section. So first, when, you, the, when the signal enters an amplifier, it first hits the preamp section. The preamp section has two things in it. Firstly, it has valves or the tubes and it has something called a tone stack, which is basically the EQ control on your amp. So first your signal gets amplified and then the tone of the signal gets set by your EQ controls. Now, the level of amplification is controlled by the gain knob on your amp, which you must have seen on any amp that has a gain knob or a drive knob that uh, when you increase it, sometimes it gets distorted. Now that's because if uh, you can only amplify that signal or the tubes can only amplify it up to a certain limit. Okay. After that limit or after that level of signal, it does not amplify your sound any further. It starts to distort it. Okay. So you might find that when you're dialing up the tone or when you're increasing the gain, it, it's quite clean at the, in the starting few uh, settings, but as you go up and increase the value of the knob, it starts to get distorted more and more. And that is what it's called a tube overdrive, where you are overdriving the tube or driving the tube too hard so that it starts to distort. So how that happens, let me just show it to you. Okay, so right now we are looking at the front of my tube amplifier, which is a Laney Ironheart Studio. And for this video, we are going to be mostly interested in these controls, the top row of controls, which is the rhythm, rhythm channel of my amp. So this is the gain control, which is for the preamp level. These are the EQ controls for the tone stack. And this is the master volume control for my power amp section. Now, if I play something, so right now, if you see the level of this knob is set to pretty low. So if I play something, it's going to be pretty clean. So right now you can see it's not distorting, it's pretty clean. level
So now that we are done with the preamp section, let's move to the next part, which is the power amps. Now the power amp section is what actually powers your speakers. Okay, it is not mainly to amplify your guitar signal or provide a tone for it. It is used to make the guitar signal that's coming out of your preamp section and make it powerful enough so that it can drive the speakers or the cabs, cabinets or whatever you're using to power your uh, amplifier. Now, uh, these power amps is also made up of tubes. So there are some power amps which are also solid state power amps, which I'm not talking about today, but uh, tube amplifiers have tube power section. So there's tubes or valves in the preamp sections. There's also more powerful tubes or bigger tubes in the power amp section. Now, the signal that comes from the preamp section to the power amp section, the level of the signal is controlled by the volume knob on your amp. So you must have seen there is a master volume and a gain. So the gain controls the level going into the preamp section. The master volume controls the level going from the preamp section to the power amp section. As you increase your master volume, more signal will flow into the power amp tubes, making your signal louder and louder. Now, even power amps have an upper limit. Okay, so if you drive the signal too hard, I mean, if you let all your guitar signal flow into the power amp tubes, then it will be so loud that it will also start to distort. And most guitarists enjoy that kind of distortion because um, it's not very fuzzy, it's not very uh, uh, sharp to the ears, it's more powerful and it's a very um, good sounding uh, distortion. Okay, so we are back to my amplifier and as you can see, the master volume is set to about 5 but if I increase this to a higher level, it will start to distort as well. So if I play this. So now we know there is a preamp section and there's a power amp section, but there's something else in between that and that is called your effects loop. Not all amps have an effects loop, uh, more modern amps have started to have it and more, uh, you know, more expensive ones and bigger amps have it. Uh, what it basically is, is your signal that's coming out of your preamp section is tapped out of the amplifier through something called an effects send. Uh, you, if you look at the back of uh, a tube amp, you might see an effects send and an effects return. So your signal is tapped out to an effects send. That effects send sends that signal to your pedals where you can insert your uh, effects pedals where it could be, uh, you know, all your modulation pedals like uh, chorus, phas phaser, the flangers, uh, could, uh, your delay pedals on your reverb pedals and every other effects pedal that you, uh, you might want to use uh, after distortion. So your guitar is amplified in the preamp section, your uh, EQ is set, it goes into the effects pedals, the tone is changed and finally it is amplified by the power amp section to be played into the speakers. So today I just tried to give you a basic idea about how tube amps work and so that next time when you are trying to dial that tone uh, you are more aware of uh, what to do with the amplifier, what to do, how to set your gain knobs, how to set your master volume so that you can get the best out of your amp sound without sacrificing your tone. So if you liked my video, make sure to subscribe to my channel and do hit that bell icon so that you are updated with all my latest videos. Till then, take care and I will see you next time.